If you are using MadMapper or Resolume Arena as a video generator software, the question you might want to ask is whether you can use Let's Trip Studio as a mapping software. Well, the answer is no. Just kidding, of course you can use it. And now there is a new way how to use it. And I show you how. So this is Resolume Arena. You need to go first to Output and you need to enable Texture Sharing Spout, which will send the generated content to the Spout library. So we will enable. Once you click it, you can see with this green circle that it's enabled. And now when you open Let's Trip Studio, this is my sample workspace and we can add a new video scene where we can add a new layer and it's called Spout, this one here. Okay, and now as you can see, here you, you can see that Arena is already generating some Spout content. So we will just click it and I have it in Let's Trip Studio. And basically that's it, that's how you use Spout in Let's Trip Studio. It's, uh, it's just one scene which you trigger, uh, here I have some sample scene. Once you trigger Spout, it's automatically re receiving image from Resolume Arena. And as you can see, I'm able to trigger the different scenes in Resolume Arena. And I can see them immediately in my Let's Trip Studio. And there is practically no delay, if you noticed. Uh, and it's because it's, everything is working on your graphics cards. So those two applications, meaning Resolume Arena and Let's Trip Studio, they exchange the bitmap data or the video data immediately on the graphic cards. So it's, there is no delay. There are some settings you can use. First of all, you might want to maintain the ratio of, of the X and Y axis. So you can right click the layer in settings and you can reset the size and position. And as you can see, I get the original X and Y ratio. The great thing about Spout is you can use multiple senders as well. For example, this is an example from directly from Spout and I have this rotating cube here. What you can do, you can go to scene settings and as you can see, I'm already seeing two senders. When I click the Spout DX, immediately I get the rotating uh, cube. And of course, I can switch between them. And what's even better, for example, I can small, lower, lower the size of the first spout and I can add another layer and I can use the rotating cube as a second layer. And of course, you can mix them in one scene. I don't know if it's practical, but it's an option. Like this, you could mix, for example, Resolume Arena and MadMapper in one mapping software, which is Let's Trip Studio. Since the spout is a, a layer for the video scene in Let's Trip Studio, you can have them in a separate scenes. And of course, you can mix them in the timeline. So for example, I can have uh, the arena running for a few first eight seconds, and then it will switch to another spout input, which is in my case, the example from spout and you can use them in show like this. I'm not sure if it's practical, but it's an option. There is a little issue on uh, laptops which use, for example, two graphic cards, for example, Intel Iris and uh, Nvidia, because sometimes the spout uh, doesn't work. And it's because you need to set the graphics get settings of the application correctly. So you need to go to system, display, and here at the bottom you have graphics selection and here you can see the different uh, different software I have here installed and here in this list you can choose what uh, graphic card the, the application is using and both application also Resolume and Let's Trip Studio they must use the same graphic card in your case it will be probably 
the high performance graphic cards, in my case Nvidia. So you need to set the high performance here and save. And now once you restart the Let's Trip Studio, it will work fine with Spout. We love how Spout works and now you can use it in Let's Trip Studio too. We just think it's easier to map complex LED installations in Let's Trip Studio than in any other software. So use it.